Breaking news, YouTuber, local nuisance and failure, Laud, once believed to be deceased, is supposedly resurrecting today. So we send you off to one of our field reporters to witness this event. Dumas, take it away. Thank you, Fokker. Well, folks, you heard that right. Everyone is gathered here today at the local Denny's to see the reincarnation of the local idiot, Laud. Well known for his incident last year where he filmed himself breaking into the local zoo after closing, and when questioned by the authorities, he said, and I quote, I was just hella faded, man, and I broke in to try to give a gorilla a fat rip off the Benjamin to recreate Planet of the Apes. Yeah, you can't make this shit up. Oh, look, it's happening! Ladies and gentlemen, you are all witnessing history. I'm back! And I'm obliterated, 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 obliterated! Ladies and gentlemen, this was a huge waste of time. Happy New Year's, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, a uh, skinny, skinny penis. penis, and I am back for another video after, holy shit, over three months. Damn, y'all gotta like, let me know that I'm like lagging on the uploading, cause like, this is low-key wild. Well, no matter, cause old Lot is back in the building to hit you guys with some beautiful lip smacking content that you fiends have been waiting for. Actually, I don't even know if you guys are gonna like watch this video or anything. And uh, who knows? Maybe you guys like probably moved on to go like watch like Change for Real or something. Like, man, it's hard times, man. Nah, fuck that. Enough of the negativo talk. It's a new year, and it's gonna be a new year for this channel. And guess what? I'm gonna be experimenting and pushing out some unique ass content that you won't find on other channels. Shit, I might fuck around and drop a cooking video. So, subscribe, so you don't miss out when I post generational content that your children will be watching in the future. Anyway, I've been yapping for way too long, and I feel like y'all deserve a story time after waiting so patiently. Alright, so if you've seen the title, I'm going to be talking about another time where I've greened out. And this is going to be for the second time since y'all showed the first greening out video so much love. And I really thank you guys for that because like it was crazy to see and honestly it just makes me want to continue to make these videos knowing so much of y'all enjoy them. Also it's funny as hell to like read all the stories you guys put in the comments about your own experiences and yeah trust me I try to read all of them but I might miss some because I'm not gonna lie. Anyway drop some more stories in the comments if you feel like it and with that being said let's start the story time. Okay, so this story is kind of a quick one, and this story actually took place fairly recently, which is kind of surprising because, like, you would think after, like, building a tolerance over the years that, like, greening out isn't possible, but, like, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't have a high tolerance, like, even after all this time. So, like, pretty much, I don't need much to feel buzzed, you know? Like, a few rips of a pen or, like, a few bongo hits is all I need to feel good. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of glad I have a low tolerance. And I know some people are gonna be like, oh, you're such a pussy, I bet I can outsmoke you <laughs> like all right dude okay shit ain't a competition but you do you i guess all right anyway greening out <laughs> all right so this took place at the homie aunt's house it was a friday night and i had just pulled up to chill because honestly there ain't much to do these days anymore you feel me so i get there we're in his room chilling and i'm still sober and i hadn't smoked all day and the homie ant, well, he was probably like already on the top of Mount Everest because like whenever I see this man, he's either like just buzzed or he's like trying to break the world record for the first person to OD off a of THC. But anyway, we're chilling and the Benjamin starts to creep out of the back pocket. And honestly, I didn't really feel like even smoking, but the homie ant always convinces me to. And when I say always, like I'm serious. Every single time I'm around that fool, it always ends up with him convincing me to toke off of something, eat something, or he just comes up with a completely new way for us to get absolutely sloshed. Hey, but hey, hmm. I'm not complaining. Anyway, he convinces me to rip the pen a little, so you know, we're just hitting a little session in his room, and I'm feeling good, you know? I'm hitting like a comfortable level of high. Like, I can stop right now, not do anything else, and 
I'll be good for a while, but like, that doesn't mean I can't smoke some more, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, some time passes and we're just chilling, you know, hanging out, probably watching some like YouTube or something. But then out of nowhere, the homie Ant is like, yo, I got to show you this. Then he just leaves the room. Like, he doesn't even give me any warning. And like, a few minutes later, he comes back into the room with this like, black box. And he opens it, and it's this piece of brand new glass that he just got. And we both look at each other, and we're both just like, yo. And like, we are just absolutely hyped for who knows what reason. Like, it's literally just another piece of glass. But dude, I don't know. At the time, like, we, like, we just thought that was like, the dopest shit that like, we have ever seen. Like, you know what I'm saying? like when you're with your homies like stuff just like happens to be cooler like i don't really know how to explain it but like if you got homies like that then you'll know what i'm talking about anyway we're both like yo we should use it yeah let's use it oh shit this is dope let's do it yeah let's do it let's do it so the homie ant goes to search for some bud and this dude is searching everywhere like i'm telling you this dude was like a mole rat he was over there scavenging his room looking under the rocks doing like ancient witchcraft trying to summon it but he can't find it so we were just like fuck dude what are we gonna do so this is the moment when we had to put our thinking caps on and we thought all was lost there is nothing we can do but from a moment of pure genius i was like well what if we smoke the pen using the bong yo, yo. boom back in action baby so we took the rubber tip that came on the pen and then we poked a little hole in it so there was like some airflow then we just put that john on the bowl and lo and behold our ingenuity resulted in an even more fun way to smoke a pen shapiro and we thought this was hella cool so i'm not gonna lie we got a little carried away and we kept doing pulls after pulls that i think we almost killed the entire full gram cart However, unfortunately, these hits were hitting a little different because I started feeling them. Instant regret on my part, but there wasn't really shit I could do because like I was already locked in on this ride after doing like 15 or so rips. Honestly though, I didn't feel like I smoked too much until the homie Ant was like, yo, you wanna see something cool? And then this fool turned on one of those videos on YouTube where the titles are like, best visuals to trip to, or these visuals will make you trip 10 times harder. And I don't know what happened, but those videos, it like flipped a switch in my head. And I was like, damn. I think I'm gonna die. But like at the same time, like I couldn't stop watching. So at the same times that these videos are just making me hella anxious and like I just like couldn't take my attention off of it. So it was just like messing with my head. And so I just got like immediately overwhelmed. So I stood up and then I tried my best to walk out of his room. But I was struggling to walk because I was viciously faded. But I eventually did get to his door, and I did manage to open it, which was honestly surprising considering my current state. So I then went to his bathroom, and I looked at myself in the mirror to try and calm myself down, but I looked like hot fucking garbage. Like I was gonna die on spot, on scene, right there. So I sat down on the toilet to take a fat steaming shit. <laughs> But then you won't even believe what I managed to do. I fell asleep on the toilet. I don't even know how long I was out. But I woke up to someone opening the door. And I look. And it was my homie's older brother. And he was just like, yo, you good? And I don't even remember saying anything. Because I was probably just like, mm-hmm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm, I'm good, man. Don't. Don't worry about it. So I got up, washed my hands, headed back to the homie ant's room, and this dude was still playing those videos. And like, he low-key had me scared. Cause this fool was staring at the screen like he was being hypnotized. He had his jaw hanging all loose, and like, he didn't even notice me walk in. So I just kinda scooted my way over to a seat, and then he noticed me. And then he finally paused the video, and he was like, yo, where'd you go? The video was just getting good. Like what? What the fuck were you just smoking? Cause it probably wasn't anything good for you. Anyway, we're just chilling again. But 
I'm not really chilling. Like, I'm not chilling at all. Like, I swear those hits had me lose some brain cells, because I literally felt acoustic after those. Shit put me onto the spectrum, and not the good part. My hearing became hella good, and I felt like I could hear almost anything. Like, I could hear someone's cheeks getting clapped from two houses down type of hearing. My stomach was all cramping up and shit, probably because I had, like, nothing to eat that day. And also, my vision was, like, all fucked up, but, like, not like I was blind, but more more like I was inebriated hella bad. Worst part of this all, I still felt like I needed to take a shit. So while I'm sitting there overstimulated, my homie is probably watching some like Eric Khan or something, which honestly I should have been doing, but for some reason, my body was rejecting any further advances to fix itself, and like I was just going into like a self-destruct mode. So I had no other choice. So I decided that I needed to close my eyes and get some rest to sleep off the nightmares. So so I actually managed to stand up, walk over to my homie's bed, and I just flopped onto it. Like, I deadass just let my body weight slowly let itself fall onto his bed because I was just that gone. Dead cold. Just blop. Like, I wasn't even sleeping or anything because it just felt like I was like on one of the worst roller coaster rides of my life. Like, you guys know how that is. You're just trying to close your eyes, but your brain is over here riding Big Thunder Mountain at the same time as you trying to sleep. Eventually, I did manage to fall asleep though, somehow, but when I woke up, it was almost 2 in the morning. I was like, god damn. The homie was over there watching me wake up, and he was like, damn bro, you really can't hang. This motherfucker. Needless to say, you're gonna get humbled every now and then, and this experience definitely reminded me that I'm still human and can still get my ass handed to me. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 10k soon, baby. Okay, for real this time. That's all. See ya.